Meanwhile, President Trump recently tweeted schools must open in the fall. He also says he's certain classrooms will be welcoming students back in just a few weeks. As so much that he says he's considering tying federal dollars to a state's ability to reopen its schools. Our Washington correspondent Jesse Turner explains. It's not a matter of if schools should reopen, it's simply a matter of how. As coronavirus cases topped 3 million in the U.S. Wednesday, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos urged states to fill their classrooms again. How that happens is best left to education and community leaders. But they won't be left in the dark. CDC Director Robert Redfield will release more guidelines next week for how to safely reopen K-12 schools, including systems to track symptoms. To help them facilitate their development of their own unique plan to accomplish that. President Trump tweeted he disagrees with the CDC on their very tough and expensive guidelines for opening schools. But Redfield said these are not requirements. It is not the intent of CDC's guidelines is to be used as a rationale to keep schools closed. Well, we have a long time to think about the school stuff. The president told me in a one on one interview Tuesday he is considering more than just the impact on students. The parents don't know what to do and they have a job and now they're all starting to go back to work. So we want to see the schools open. Labor Secretary Eugene Scalia said reopening schools is especially important for lower wage workers and single parents. The pace and structure of our national life is built around the expectation that our young people will be in school in person. Vice President Mike Pence said Congress should create incentives for districts to reopen. But President Trump has also threatened to withhold federal education funds from schools that remain closed. In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor. Most Indiana school districts that have released their plans are going to start the school year on time and in person. We have more information on the plans we have right now at fox59.com.